So it's, hi, it's Kevin from Let Me Tech You. And in this video, we're going to be going over the Azure Landing Zone um, architecture and how to deploy this using Terraform's um, Enterprise Scale module and also their LZ Vending module to help build out your subscriptions. So if you're not familiar with um, the cloud adoption framework, you can uh, check out um, Azure's website here. Um, basically, you can Google... Um, cloud adoption framework, Azure landing zones. And it kind of just tells you about the design principles around this architecture and the reason why, you know, someone who's either looking to deploy resources in Azure should look to um, set this up, or even if you already have resources in Azure, kind of start to adopt some of the frameworks and mythologies around um, how this can kind of lead you to a more secure and repeatable um, architecture when deploying resources. So we're gonna be kind of focusing more so in this area here in the management group and subscription organization process um, and uh, you know, building out some of these subscriptions. So I'm gonna kind of break this down into a couple of different videos. Um, first, we're gonna uh, utilize these two uh, modules and basically this module here um, built by Azure it only deploys the architectural design to so everything from the management group um, process and then it uh, builds resources inside of subscriptions. So it doesn't handle the subscription creation process. This is where we would need to use this module to build those subscriptions and deploy resources into them um, um, for us to hand off to their respective teams. So, to get started, we're gonna be using Terraform and I kinda of got some of it already started here, but um, we're gonna kinda of build off some th off of some things here. And how I got this kind of set up is uh, four different um, sections is going to be set up to deploy the resources that we need to build out um, that particular picture we were just looking at. So the first thing is gonna be the landing zone. So, I've, you know, landing zones here, which is gonna be our subscription for our connectivity and um, basically our platform uh, subscription. So back here, if we look, um, our platform setup is gonna be identity, management, and connectivity. And then we're gonna have a subscription underneath each of those re uh, management groups there. So um, now with that set up, uh, with the folder set up, you can just create a new folder. If you're already familiar with Ter Terraform, you're going to have your main.tf file will set up. Um, so I just kind of already threw some things in here. So obviously going to need your provider block, um, the module um, that we'll be using. And you can find that by going to Google here. Um, and you can just search for LZ Vending Azure. Um, it should come up um, and it, or eight LZ vending Terraform Azure. It'll come up and take you to this page. I'll also put this link there in the uh, comments. So to use this module, we just basically need this block here. There are some sub modules you can use, but we'll just go ahead and use it as it is. And basically kind of just go down here and take some of the uh, inputs that we need and build out some of these resources here. So I'm going to, Pull this over here on the other screen and pull up some of my uh, some examples. So what we're going to want to do is build multiple um, uh, subscriptions. So instead of having to copy this multiple times and create uh, multiple subscriptions like this, we're going to use one block and we're going to create a, a set up a for each loop basically to uh, build. Um, as many subscriptions as we have inside of our TF VARS file. And this is the way to kind of keep our code dry to not put static values in some of these different areas. So inside my variables file, I have a variable um, called LZ Vending. And then I have a uh, LZ Vending um, TF VAR um, uh, map here of the subscriptions that I want to create. So basically on this uh, main, on your main.tf, you wanna add, if you, if you go to the, the Terraform page, you'll see that in the inputs, the um, subscription alias enable is basically saying, hey, yes, we do wanna create a subscription. 
if you didn't have this enabled, you would basically have to supply the subscription ID um, of the uh, subscription that you will be wanting to deploy virtual networks, resource groups, and things like that in. Uh, the other thing we're going to need is description subscription alias name, the uh, billing scope, and then the display name, and then we're also going to need this subscription workload. And this is either going to be production, this either has to be production, or it can be um, dev test. Uh, we're just going to do production here. And then for the alias name, I'm just going to put, uh, you know, that's going to be my initials or my act initials for my let me tech you. Um, for the display name, I'm going to do let me tech you. And then the billing scope, uh, you basically will find that uh, on your billing account. Um, you know, I'm going to actually see here, let me pull this over here for a second. Actually got to pull that up in my Azure account. So if you're on like a, uh, as long as you're on a Microsoft customer agreement or enterprise plan, uh, you can pull that up inside of your, um, cost management, pull this over here. So if you go into your cost management, you'll be able to find that inside of there. So if you go into like your properties, then you'll see all that, your ID and all of that jazz. And then you can basically kind of mimic how it wants it inside the inputs um, in that Terraform block. So let me uh, grab this here for a second and I'll jump back right on to the video here. All right, so I got that added in there. Um, got my billing scope. So that's basically going to define uh, the billing scope that I'm using to um, manage the subscription. So if you're using pay as you go or an enterprise agreement, um, basically just sets it to the uh, scope of that particular account that's going to be uh, managed there. So we're, um, there's, there's some subscription management group association enabled, um, inputs there, um, in the subscription management group ID. We don't want to use those, uh, currently now because how we're going to be setting this up is we're going to be utilizing the core, uh, module for the enterprise scale. When we get to that video to manage the, uh, management group association process and, we just don't want any conflicting, uh, basically we don't want anything conflicting with the different Terraforms uh, running things and trying to decide where things should go. So, uh, so I got the module here and I'm actually going to put this inside of a loop so that we can create multiple, uh, basically multiple subscriptions. So inside my TFR file, I'm going to actually take this information here and I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm actually going to take this one out because it's going to be the same anyway for all of them. And I'm going to not try to make it too pretty. Now we'll go back and straighten this up. So we got one subscription. So let's say subscription 02. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and actually let's go ahead and straighten that up. And then so this one, the subscription alias name is going to be let me LMTY. Let's call this develop. And we'll call this one production
All right, so save that. And then so now on our variables here, um, LZ vending, we need our location. So as far as that goes, that's mainly the, um, what we're gonna need to get a subscription um, started. Uh, you don't really need anything else out of that. Now this module does build out virtual networks and things like that, but we don't need those necessarily built for what we're gonna do now because um, from that picture, we're only gonna do the management, the identity and connectivity uh, subscriptions, but the, the cloud adoption enterprise scale module is gonna be what deploys resources into those. So now that I'm in that folder, I'm gonna do a Terraform init and it's gonna download the uh, modules that are needed the um, plugins and providers, as we can see, it's going to be also using the AZ API. And what that basically does is it allows it's a thin wrapper around Azure to um, ba basically be able to deploy resources that aren't necessarily available or they're in preview. Um, so yeah, it's essentially an API to, to deploy resources without having to worry about uh, it not being available in Terraform or or whatnot. So now I'm going to do a Terraform plan, and let me see. I hopefully I don't get any errors if I'm missing anything from this module. So inf oh, so we need our provider block. Oh. Save that. Missing any. Oh, and actually, I forgot. We need to utilize those variables in the TFRs file. So um, we're going to do a for each var, and it's going to be true. Alias name is going to be each dot value dot subscription alias name. The display name, each dot value dot subscription display name, and then we do use the same workload, but you know you never know. You might actually use a different workload. So we got those saved here. So now we should have um, instead of two things to add, it should show four. Uh, LZ vending, let's make sure our variable. Let me save that. Oh, and that's right, we got a TFR file here. So let's Terraform plan. Bring this over a little bit, there we go. So since we're using a, a, a var file, it's, um, let me just show you here. So if you see, it's gonna be var dash file and then the file name. It's gonna be subscriptions. Did I have quotes? No. Uh, stay lock. Let's see. Let's actually remove these just in case because I think I, I exit out of it midway through, so it might have been locked up there. So now we got four to add. So basically now this is gonna create four subscriptions. So we can just change this to apply. Now typically with the uh, subscription creation process, 
Uh, it could take about, I'd say, three to four minutes to start uh, deploying these. Um, so uh, once while it's doing that, I'll, I'll come into this uh, video and just kind of just show some of the or this tab and just show some of the other things that this can do. So coming down here, you you got some things you can kind of you know uh, you know deploy. So obviously you can have this manage the network watcher resource group, um, resource group creation. Um, you can create some resource group as, groups as well. Uh, again, we'll uh, go more into depth in this once we get later on in the other videos because this is only going to be for the landing zones that will, or I mean the uh, platform side. So once we get into the landing zones, we'll want to do some of this stuff because essentially what you'll want to do is build a vending model to be able to deploy applications, resource groups, and things like that, virtual networks, peer them back to your hubs, and hand them off to the respective teams in a timely manner. So the faster and um, more uh, things you can get you know, built up front, it just makes the whole process a lot faster. Uh, if you have any questions in regards to the source code, you can always check out the GitHub repository and um, issue, um, add any issues there. And obviously, if you want to contribute, you know, do some pull requests. But there's usually some good information in here. And also check out the wiki, and it'll give you more information on some different examples of how you could utilize this particular setup and some of the different other inputs available. So I'm going to go to uh, my portal here and check out the subscriptions. And let's see if it can show more here already. So as you can see, my Let Me Tech You production's already set up. So if I go ahead and choose apply, we can now see that this one is now active. And let's see if it's still running here. Looks like it's still creating. So still creating one, looks like it completed the first one. So that's really it for this first step. Um, this is basically to create the subscriptions. Um, what you'll wanna do is, uh, let's see, create yourself um, three of these. So I'm gonna actually do one more myself. Now I should have named it like connectivity, management, um, uh, an identity, but uh, I won't worry about that for now, but you can kind of name the uh, name those subscriptions how you want. So I'm going to set up another one because we're going to need three of these. And I'm going to call this uh, management. And once that gets, uh, once this gets finished here, I'll deploy that and then we'll move on to the next video in setting up uh, connectivity into our, uh, one of these subscriptions and deploying um, some hubs and things like that. So again, if you have any questions in regards to this one, uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you and uh, check out the next video for more.